Hey, it's cool here if you don't know. And uh, so since I um, finished up my Let's Play of Tomba a little earlier than I thought I would, I uh, figured, well, we still have about two hours left. Why not do some Overachiever? And uh, for anyone who wasn't here f during the first session, this is just where I take an old uh, favorite NES cart of mine, the Supervision 110 in 1. Let's pick games out of that and try to get some achievements in about 30 minutes' time. I have time for about four of these. Um. And the first one that I've picked. Also, please don't joke about um, technical issues. I struggle with those and I get angry. And I get even angrier when people joke about those. Thank you. Anyway, we're starting with Gradius. To a great start, just uh, in two of, in two of these groups running off before I can clear them out. And at least get a laser before we get to the first action area, and that's not gonna happen. Oh, okay, that's fine. There's our. I watched someone play the MSX version of this game recently, and... Well... <laughs> great start. Yeah, I watched someone else... I, I watched someone play the MSX version of this game recently, and... It actually plays... Let me finish my sentence game! It actually plays pretty well. A lot better than I am playing right now, let me tell you. I'm not usually this bad at Gradius, I, I assure you. You set lasers to fun. Probably have taken that. Let's just start over, shall we? Oh good, you've submitted 2530 as a high score. So happy game. Why am I missing these? Like, I had the missile first. Oh, the laser for this runner. I do see an achievement pop, uh, like an achievement icon in the corner there that says option X. So I'm going to assume that is just clear the first stage without using options. mistaken there's also like a one up right here yeah there is usually I have options to uh, protect me here but uh, I'm just hoping that the missile will do its job and it does
Yeah. And that shield took a couple of hits there. Well, I timed out the boss. Challenger 1985. Still see the no option thing in the corner there, and I wonder how long it wants me to go without options. Surely you don't want me to clear the entire game without options. I tell you what, I, I will try one attempt without options. I'm not that good at this game. I'm probably going to crash and burn at some point. And look at all these bullets. There's bullets everywhere, man. better than you would. Let's add a mustache to your ship. Yeah, no options is tough. Like, I am tempted to press that button right now, but uh, if the game says no options, then no options it shall be. At least I'll give it one try. Again, I don't know how long the game wants me to go without options, but... Uh, There's also another one that seems to imply maybe trying to get, um, like, specific, um, there we go, got one of them. Like, that is too small for me to read. Here come the Moai heads. Kill 25 of these, eh? I don't know if I'll be able to do that without options, game. Oh shoot. Yeah. Like, you definitely need double to, uh, to get the ones on the ceiling. And double is not my weapon of choice. Ah! <laughs> now you have the option! To die! I'm definitely going to die. We're all gonna die someday. That day is closer for some than others. Just ask a Big Viper over here.
Yeah, and like, at this point I don't even have a speed up. Alright, let me take a look at uh, the achievements here. That is not the button to take a look at the achievements. Oh my goodness. Here are stages three, four, five, six, seven. Big five for deluxe. Five speed ups, missile, laser, two options, and shield. No Konami code. First warp, second warp, second warp, third to fifth. It should say third warp. A secret at 500 points on stage two. Secret 500 points and 5,000 on stage three. Secret one ups. Uh, Moai Hunt. Complete the game without dying. Finish the second loop. Jeez. Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about the no options thing. The icon appears to have disappeared anyway. There's an option. Yeah, for for the for the fully kitted out one, like I would say like a laser or double. Because you can only have one or the other. And some people will prefer one, some people will prefer the other. Ah. Why was I not getting that one? See, now I have that extra protection. I at least have one option, and I have my shield. The time limit? I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised, but still. Let's see if we can get that fully kitted out achievement. Oh my goodness. There we go, Vic Viper Deluxe. I am not speeding up again because holy crap. What madman devised this? fast. I 
It's kind of like a super spy theme. And then I hit the wall and die. And then I hit the wall and die. Might want to get uh, double, or might want to get option next, actually. Unless, you know, I hit a bullet and die. Well, I never said I was good at this game. Yeah, this game gets very difficult. Like, I think I might have finished it, like, once cheating. I've never finished it for real. Goodness gracious me, I would never cheat. Definitely not for lives in a game that has pretty unfair platforming sometimes. I got the one up this time. I could have gotten a shield here if I hadn't gone for the one up, but hey. Hey, the volcanic bomb hunt. We did it, everyone. We have hunted for, for volcanic bombs. That might be too close, actually. Ooh. You feel, you feel the, the solar wind pass by there. How close that is. One more speed up, but that's gonna be hit. I love how it's like, okay, first level, it's fine. We're, we're gonna give you the opportunity to kind of warm up, warm up to the game. The second level, everything starts firing like mad. 
So you've gotten your bearings, you've gotten your power-ups, now friggin' survive. Another one up. Not that I'm particularly going to need it, because if I die, I'm just screwed anyway. Oh, I took a hit there. To... Oh, what? I did that in entirely the wrong order. I wanted to lose the shield and then generate another one, but then I took a power up instead, like an idiot, and yeah, that was the end of me. I'm surprised they took that thing out. Uh, that's my life now. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, you know what I was saying about uh, doesn't matter how many lives I have, really. I am not good enough to beat this game without power-ups. I'm surprised I got that one. <sighs> you know what? No matter what, this is the last try. But yeah, th there is something that, uh, like, there's a theory that I've always kind of, uh, put through called the gamer's prerogative, which is that someone playing a video game is often going to put themselves in danger to collect something, even if that thing doesn't do any good or does more harm than good. Now you do a deathless 100% run. I think it's pretty clear that I don't. Okay, let's do one more. And this isn't a J-pop one more. This is, there's still four and a half minutes, or like no, five, six and a half minutes left on the clock. that one. It's 
another one. I am good at video games, let me tell you how good I am at video games. I am so good at video games that I won't even need to demonstrate that I am good at video games. I am good. We're gonna stop there. So that was Gradius, everyone. I got some achievements, at least. So what do we get today? We got uh, Volcanic Bomb Hunt. Uh, we've cleared stage one and two. Uh, we got Big Viper Deluxe, and I think that's all I got because the other two I already had. Well, I shot the core. I got several cores. Okay. So let's play a different video game. It'd be great if I could remember which buttons do what. So I shall bring up my list of the games that were in this multi-card. And I shall select one from this list. And that one shall be the one that we play. Uh, not feeling another shmup right now, although there's many shmups in this game. Ah, I think I know what we'll do. Oops, no, not that. Uh, let's see. Was that world? It was world. Okay. And there are thirty achievements in this game. Kalupu Land. For anyone who doesn't know how to play Clue Clue Land, you play as Weeble Wobble. Uh, I don't know if this guy has a name, honestly. I have never checked. But um, you're trying to reveal the hidden picture that is hidden behind these golden bars. They have three controls. Well, you have. Uh, you have technically, you know. Okay, let's. Let me try that again. You can extend one of your hands, which you press like. If you want to extend a hand upward, you press up. If you want to extend a hand downward, you press down. And you can shoot your beam to stun the uh, the spiky things. 
and once you've stunned them, you can run them into the wall for bonus points. If you're playing two players, then whoever has um, revealed the most golden bars gets a bonus. Get that devil. Oh, another one up. Don't mind if I do. Actually, I don't know if that gave me one up. It also helps if you've played this game before because then you can kind of tell, like, it's going to be this design. Money. Nice little 1,500 points. You can hover over those portal things, but if you uh, if you run into one without holding onto one of the pegs, you will get sucked in. In fact, it is required to go over these things to complete the pattern. Left shoelace. None pizza left shoelace. This level has wraparound, as demonstrated here. Oh jeez. I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there. Symmetry. Not done. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. It's right here. <laughs> A fifth grade baseball game? And now it is time! For round four. Okay, we are, we're doing one more round before the thing that I thought we were doing. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be careful with uh with the bouncy things because like it is actually possible to soft lock yourself. Well butts. Wait, how? Okay. Saying about gamers' prerogative. 
We're running out of time. Oh, we gotta run fast. One left somewhere. Where is it? Well, ran out of time, so I lost an additional life. So we had many lives, and now we have none. Is it just here? No. I don't think it's in the middle. Oh, I see it. don't get a time bonus because time ran out. Now it is the time for bonus round. Every connection here has a, uh, a gold bar on it. And it is absolutely possible, if you're good at this game, to get every bar. And if you do, you get a super bonus. So now we've looped through... Actually, no, I think there's still one stage left. No? Okay, we're back to green. Hehe. <laughs> Jewel did a few me. Oh yes, an important thing to note that I did not note, but you might have noticed by now. Uh, the spike dudes cannot cross the bars. Ah, oh, really? <sighs> oh well. This is the nature of an arcade game. Let's brush off and try again. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid playing this game, like, I would just jam on the fire button all the time. But really, there's no reason to do that. Well, looks like we're starting with the heart again. We're doing a heart run, folks. Final stretch. Looks like we got a different pattern for this one. Ah, yeah, you see there? It is 100% possible to get stuck in that. Like, not once they've been revealed. But, like, if you, if you make a wrong turn, you just get stuck in between those two bouncers. And... That's just it. 
You gotta wait until either one of the spike dudes comes up and busts you, or wait for time to run out. I mean, I wouldn't blame the programming of the game. The game is doing what it's intended to do. It's just that its intention is a bit malicious because we didn't have the same standards that we do now. Oh, crap. Push the button a bit too soon. A wall programmed game. <laughs> yeah, there, there are many faults in games that are not so much the fault of the game, but the fault of the industry. They're like, oh jeez. They're like, we, we have said that we're gonna get this game out before the end of the month. Like, it's now or never. E either fix this problem now or we ship it as is. And, uh, back in the NES days, there were no updates. Well, there were sometimes, but like, it's not like just software that you can just update. Is they had to like reissue the game, and if you had an old version of the game and didn't know there was a new version, then that's too bad. And even if you knew there was a new version, that might be too bad anyway. You might just have to rebuy the game in order to get the new version. And that's not really the fault of anything else, but how the industry works. It kind of sucks. life? Crap. Yeah, that that playthrough was a little more sloppy, I don't know if you noticed. Well, at least I'm enjoying this a little more than Gradius. I'm not saying, of course, that Gradius is not a good game, but that I don't enjoy it. It's just that, like, this is more... it's a more peppy game, I guess you could say. A, li a little more arcadey. Definitely a little fast-paced, but not as much as Gradius. That there's not as much pressure to like progress is another thing. Like this is an arcade game. Like pure a, a pure arcade game. And I realize that there is an arcade version of Radius as well, but like in fact there was several versions of Radius.
Yeah. It must have got a bonus for not losing a life there. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not really sure why I got a bonus there. I clearly don't deserve it because look at me. Wow, just finding all of the secret fruits. This is Jim from Accounting. Slim Jim. <laughs> why he's so slim. I feel like you could make like a poem about Slim Jim, but that's all I got. seen this one before. Slim Jim is in sales. That was Fat Jim. This is the one we died on last time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was not expecting to get uh, turned around there. Unfortunately, that was my undoing. somewhere. Not that it matters, I'm dead. Now we got time for one more. Hey J-Pop, how you doing? We have finished Tomba and uh, are now doing some achievements.
Ooh. Time freeze and a one up. Softball practice. And you are always on the go, aren't you? It's surprising that you have time to stream. You're trying to live, but also, make sure you take care of yourself, buddy. Although I poke fun at you and I'm like, man, I, I need to get more physically active too. We've seen this one as well. Another time freeze. J pop, don't encourage you. <laughs> Bonus! I got bonus! Looks like we've got the 1987 Denver Broncos again. Sorry for all the flashing in this game, by the way. I realize that may not uh, jive well with all audiences. Ah, another time for this. Dang it. What the? What? What the, the, the? Hello, I'd like to file a bug report. I don't know what happened there. Please get me out of this nightmare. Thank you. I don't know that I've ever seen that happen before. I just need to get it. There we go. 
Whew, didn't have a whole lot of time left there. Can we make it to the bonus round again? I just need to clear one more stage. I have three lives to do this. Seven. Four. You know where the last one is? There we go. We've made it to the bonus round again. Am I gonna get the super bonus? Not a damn chance. Pretty good score though, like I don't usually do quite that well. But like you, you saw me swinging there for a second, that's how you do it, if as long as you do it right. There we go. This is now the best game that I have had this session. One eyed pig. Green two. Get out of my face. Oh. It got me on the rebound. And that was Cool Cool Land. Dun 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 dun. Okie dokie. What am I feeling like next?
Yeah, I think I think I might try that one as long as it has achievements anyway. Oops. Um, this is probably a Japanese game. Do it have achievements? Oh my goodness, it has 89 of them. All right. Oh, give it a second. It has decided to not capture the window this time. There we go. So this is binary land. Not to be confused with non-binary land. Somehow I didn't know this game had high scores. We can play as Gurin and Marlon. We're gonna play as Gurin. But basically, don't get your uh, don't get your penguins stuck in webs. If one of them gets stuck in a web, then you can uh, get your other. Uh, penguin to beam it out. Uh, the penguin that you have selected will respond to your controls. The other penguin will respond to your controls in mirror reverse. So left is right, right is left. Now you see that uh, unfortunately Malan has been captured in a web. Well, as long as I can get to her here. If any of your uh, if any of your penguins get stuck gets uh, caught by a spider, then that's the end of that life. Is that game every multi cart you rented out? There are a few of those. Super speed mode. So if you haven't told by by the way by this point, um, the goal of each stage is to get one penguin on each side of the heart in the cage. Let's see if I can get that. No! No! Oh! I didn't know that Mon was safe while she's in the, uh, in the web. Uh, actually, let's just... There we go. Boom! Definitely want to clear up Malon's side because there's a lot of spiders there. Can probably clear up that last spider too. There we go. I don't know why I spent so much time with this game as a kid, but I definitely did. There we go. It doesn't matter which which penguin is on which side, just have one on each side. Have a good night, Grim. Oh! I saw the item there and I got distracted and Malon got caught by a spider. Oh. Give me that. There 
area. Gurren done quickly. I guess the uh, the achievements here have par times. Yeah, I'm not getting that uh, that speed up, unfortunately, but I don't need it. We may not spend an entire half hour on this game. I realize it is not necessarily the most exciting thing. Collect all the hearts, and unlock the heart in the middle. Perfect! 50,000 points. And now we got this stupid bird. forget what the deal is with it. Oh, that's what the deal is with it. So swap the penguins around. All that one spider gets to live. Unfortunately, I got Gurren caught, so now I'm having to deal with controlling Mylon, unless I get them swapped around. Naturally, if both of the penguins get caught in the web, that is also the end of a life. Cannot murder the burb. I did try to beam it, nothing happened. Did help me take out that spider. Man. points. Tried to compensate there, unfortunately. Melon got captured. There is a bit of wiggle room to get the penguins next next to each other like that. that. I don't think I am. Oh, there it is. Oh, but no. No bonus. No bonus. That's unfortunate. Also, that fireball there, that's new. They died of broken hearts.
Oh, jeez. I think that might... Yeah, okay. This is invincibility. I forgot about that. I think it might be the only way to uh, to deal with the, the fireballs, because I did try to beam one. I guess there is an achievement for every stage. And also note that the achievements have been specific to Gurren. So there's probably achievements for Malon as well. And this is a little confusing, actually, when they swap around. Because, like, then you expect to be controlling the one on the left, but you're actually controlling the one on the right, or vice versa. didn't have enough time. I mean, you're controlling both, yes, technically, but like, you know what I mean, right? Like, I, I am properly controlling Gurren, but I'm controlling Malon in reverse. Those are those are booking it. Oh, we got time and we're trying to get some achievements, so let's go with a Malon game. Which after, like, immediately after doing a Gurren game... ...is going to be a little mind-bending. Yeah, someone someone definitely needs to make a like a modern version of this called Non-Binary Land. The only difference is who you control directly? Yes, it is. But since there's an entire set of achievements, and this series is about getting achievements, then I am at least going to do one Malon game. Yeah, I don't know why it has two sets of achievements. It's silly.
It probably, like, the, the, the achievements probably only go up so high. Like, there are 89 achievements in this game. So I'm guessing that, like, there's 20 achievements for stages, there's another 20 for death, no, there's another 20 for, um, par times. And then times 2 for Garen and Malon games. Ah, I wasn't looking and Malwan got caught. Ah, uh, Gurren got stuck. Let's clear the way a little bit here. Best way to figure this out. There we go. I mean, I know they're just point items, but also, this is an arcade game. Arcade games are about getting points. Getting points and clearing stages. Well, the points are what get you on the highest score table. the speed up. Now Pointless is a different game entirely. Pointless is basically reverse family feud. It got a little glitched there. <laughs> Immediately get Gurren caught. Oh, I'm not gonna get that, am I? Oh, I am. Let's go. Spiders look funky AF. They're funky. Ah. End. get the point of this game. That was Binary Land. Huh. 
Why is that called Lolo de Flowchart? I mean, the real question you should be asking is whether Lolo is okay. And I'm pretty sure the answer is no, Lolo is never okay. I mean, that's fair. Lolo de Puzzlo is a guy who, uh, for the longest time, did a lot of retro games and rank them, and now he is doing all of the games and also ranking them. He's a pretty cool guy. He's so strength and doesn't af doesn't afraid of anything. Um. Right. I know what I want to play next. And it is not a. It is not in the U.S. list, which I'm not really surprised. It's in the worldwide list. Oh, just straight up Japanese, I guess. I am honestly surprised. This this is a game that could have worked in uh, North American markets. There it is. Yeah, it's still mostly retro, but isn't exclusively focused on that anymore. So let me push this button so I can change the name of the game. And then immediately forget which buttons do what and uh, cancel out of that menu. Where is it? There we go. It's waiting for it to capture. But if you know that tune, you know what it is. It's Puyon! I'm gonna let this song play out because I love it. Let's get this thing started. The children went out to play, but oh no, they have been, well, one of them has been captured by the wolf. It is up to Puyon to rescue the child. Now they do kind of come down in patterns here. If you're good, you can uh, use the whatever this is to take down multiples. I want to be careful though, because some of them are going to start firing at me. Some of them also take multiple hits. And really close to touching the ground, which isn't the end of the world, but you generally want to avoid them touching the ground. You can also shoot their projectiles out of the air. There we go, that's stage one. Oh, I apparently didn't start the timer. But now they all take two hits. And they're rising up to the top. 
And you see that big chunk of steak at the top there. Suffice it to say, it is not a big chunk of steak. If they get to the top, they will start pushing that thing toward the edge. Once enough of them mass there, well, it's curtains for Puyan. Oh me, oh my, 3,000 points. Oh, that's another quad. three of those. The pick wolf always takes more hits and if it gets to the top then it will summon like five more wolves to deal with including another pink wolf. All right bonus stage if they get through that's not a problem this is only for bonus points in fact you cannot use your regular arrows for this you have to use the um the super arrows however if the super arrow uh hits a um hits a balloon that is in the air as you see it just kind of bounces off Most of the time it didn't work. That's weird. But yeah, now for some reason the pink wolf is throwing strawberries down. Which I don't know why because those are just bonus points. about to find out what happens when a wolf touches down. So they're gonna take up one of the windows and take bites at us. So the more of them are uh, are on the ladders, the more dangerous it gets. Oh, that one got me in the face. Uh-oh, getting harder. Now that one got through. Ah, the last one got me. You're getting good at this. But yeah, the different balloons have different effects. Like I think the uh, the green ones are harder to aim on. The red ones in the stage take three hits. But the more hits they have taken... Ah, no! Three of them got through. I think it takes seven to, uh, to push down the rock. Oh, they're up to five. They're up to six. Mm -hmm. 
And they've got it. Dong. Alright, good night, Jewel. Ah, the pink wolf got through. Means that added another three wolves that we have to deal with, including another pink wolf. Oh no. Oh. I don't know how that worked out, but it worked out. Yeah, we might not play this one for the whole half hour either. We'll... We'll see how it goes. Might give it a couple of tries. By the way, if this song sounds familiar at all, because you've heard a very similar song in um, Rogue Legacy. Three of them are on the tower now. That's probably gonna be four. Oh, we're screwed. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Last life. Boom. Oh, this ain't going well. Oh, the plus side is now the tower is full. And you still have save spots. And there isn't really a penalty for letting one through anymore. There probably is like a hurry up mechanic though. So I kind of don't want to challenge the game to uh, to force me to uh, to finish. Yes, the minigame music is a sound alike of the song from Booyan. Or the, the first phase song. challenging enough, eh? I guess not. There's two more through, and I caught a shot in the face. Fortunately, we got a life somewhere in there, so... Uh... Watch me lose this right quick. I'm 
There's number six, and there's number seven. We're done. Game's over. Hmm, I want to do another run of Puyon, actually. No, I think I'll I think I'll uh, get one more different game here. Now what shall it be? Whatever it is, it's probably gonna be the last one. So let's make it a one that counts. Mm. And there are so many options though. And so many options, and a lot of them are good, and, uh, well, some of them are good, and some of them are not so good. You know what? Let's go with another classic. There it is. And this is probably going to be the last one tonight. And if you know this song, then you know exactly what we're in for. Let's wait for it to capture. Any day now. There we go. It's Bomberman! If you don't know how this game is played, just you're trying to bomb all of the enemies and you start with a bomb with a very tiny range. Oh, look at that, starting off with a double. Ah, being sneaky, are ya? Ow. Usually the ballons are not uh, quite this devious. Ow. And you also want to bomb the walls. Because one of these walls has something real nice in it. Ow! Alright, I think I'm just gonna take the death here and uh and start over. But why are you running away from me? I'm trying to die. <laughs> In case you're wondering, that's the password. I don't know why the password is so complicated. Someone get James Rolfe on the phone. 
There we go. That is the exit door. In order to uh, exit the stage, you first have to kill everything on the stage. Oh geez. Without first dying. And then you uh, go into the door. Do not bomb the door. Oh my goodness, like... I do not remember these guys being so devious. Minji Haba The game's friggin' laughing at me for being so bad at it. How dare you? See, that's how it's supposed to go now. Yeah. Okay, I need to not follow them so close is the thing. Yeah, the first game is honestly kind of rude. It is also a bit gradius -y. although not nearly as much as Gradius. You lose certain powers when you die. There is one power in particular that makes this game so much more palatable. And if we're lucky, we will see it on stage two. Provided that we ever get to stage two. It goes without saying you can blow yourself up unless you have a power that protects against that. That sound means we've killed everything on the floor. So now is the time on sprockets where we blow up every wall. Now there is a time limit. When the time runs out, you don't die, but you will probably wish for death unless you're well equipped. And if you are well equipped, then uh, chance for a lot of bonus points, actually. There are also very, very specific things that you can do that you would never figure out how to do unless you're just told by a guide. There's the door, and there's the other thing. It is a power-up. This one increases your uh, firing range. There's only one power-up per level in this game, so there's no reason for us to stay here. So now we got new enemies. And if we're lucky, we'll also get a very useful power-up in this level. Ah, man. Got juked. Oh, come on, really? Ah, oh, man. This, uh, this guy is giving me the business.
Come on, man. Cooperate, please. Ah, no. Okay. You've only played Bomberman 64? And you're you're missing out on some experiences. But definitely the way to consume the original Bomberman game that I would suggest is there is a fan game called Power Bomberman, which uh, features the original game and also a quote-unquote turbo version of the original game where you start with, I think, two bombs, an additional, um, like an additional extension, uh, however you want to fuck. Like fireball. Okay, well we got a second ball. I that's not what I was hoping for, but it's something. But yeah, you start with like two bombs, two power, and a couple of other things. A couple of another item that we have not seen yet. So these barrel looking dudes are uh their their main thing is they rarely change direction. They do, but not often. Okay. So they're a little bit more reliable to clear. Also, I really need to be using both of my bombs more. Bombs can naturally explode other bombs. This should get him. There we go. door. Not a great place for it. Let me find the power up and then we'll see how much time there is left. There it is, the detonator. Now I get to pick when the bombs explode, which means... Let me show you what happens when you blow up the door. Oh no! More enemies, and yes, you need to clear all of them in order to leave. These particular guys can pass through walls. Why did my bomb not explode when I told it to? If you blow up your power-up, this also happens. I remember the very first time I blew up the door, the game crashed, and I was like, nah, I'm not playing that game again. Eventually, I came back to it, and I did finish it. So now these smiley face dudes are going to be a little more adamant about chasing us down. But they're not the smartest in the bunch. 
and blowing up the door just create a new kind of door. Oh, it created a new kind of door, the kind that enemies can come through. Oh, roller skates. We move faster now. And that is the other item that uh, you start with a couple of in uh, the turbo mode in Power Bomberman. Power Bomberman also has a pretty good multiplayer. I had the opportunity to play with Nagatilili one time. And like, there's unlockable characters, there's like a gacha with no duplicates and a finite number of things that also doesn't cost money. Like you just get coins as you play and eventually you get everything. In other words, it's entirely unlike any normal kind of gacha, but that's still what it is. But it's actually fair. By the way, you absolutely want to be careful to not die after getting the uh, detonator. Because you definitely lose the detonator when you die. Come on. Come on. There you go. Ah, really? That's where the door is? It is, by the way, possible to explode a wall twice. Like, if you blow up a wall that is currently disintegrating, it's just going to restart its animation. Which may mean that you end up missing your shot at something. Let me catch up the chat here real quick. Uh, my favorite thing about this game. Never played the most. I uh, played the most and enjoyed the most of the series. The ones that follow the Bomberman for me the least. I mean, that's fine. The, the Bomberman formula itself is not going to be compatible with everyone. But it can be a lot of fun. We have three bombs. Now it is time for bonus stage! You can blow yourself up as much as you want here. You are invincible. Just kill all the things. I call this technique Panic Bomber. I don't know why, sometimes I press the B button and nothing happens. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you gain a life every time you clear a stage. I think it caps at 9. Come on, bud. There you go. Oh no! Oh no, you ran- you uh, your power went out, J-Pop? That's- that sucks. What also sucks is, I lost my detonator. And now we're up to four bombs. Come on. 
Ow. Oh, crap. Always been out since three. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to math how long that is. I guess my stream starts at like five year time. So it's been out for like six or seven hours. That's no fun. That's no good. Oh, really? Area. One left. Area. Alright, we'll have a good one, Terry, and we're not gonna go too much later anyway. We're getting we're winding down to the end of the stream. Now I did collect the power up earlier, but that was in a past life. Because we died, it's it should be back, actually. will be safe from blowing up the door. There it is. Just has an added flex, so let's just bomb everything. Just assert our dominance on the stage. Stage 7. If I recall correctly, there are 50 stages in this game. Obviously, we're not finishing this game tonight. There's those uh, gelatinous cubes again. Right now those water drop dudes, blue onions, whatever you want to call them, are the most threatening enemy. Blue onion sounds like it should be like something you shouldn't look up on the internet, to be real. Maybe don't look that up on the internet. I don't know if it's a thing. But let's not find out. And it's a power extension. We're up to three now. Did we find the door? We have not found the door. There's the door. Maybe when, uh, actually, coming up on, uh, Midnight 57 here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off what happens when time runs out. I'm still going to clear the stage first. I'm just going to not leave until the time runs out. There it 
There we go. We need to kill all the enemies before entering the door? That is affirmative. And if it- oh, it's another detonator. Excellent. If anything happens, like if, if you get rid of all the enemies, and anything happens that new enemies spawn in, then you have to clear those enemies as well before you can leave. So actually, getting the detonator here is probably going to be a good thing, because I'm going to show off what happens when time runs out. And I don't promise that I'm going to be able to survive, but uh, I'll at least show it off. Still gonna clear everything out here for good measure, so it's especially gonna help with what's coming. Yeah, sometimes I press the button and nothing happens. I don't know if it's like a glitch or something, but it is kind of annoying. Okay, all of the walls have been cleared. Now I want to just make a wall of bombs right here. And there is a good chance that I'm just going to die immediately when this happens. But uh, let's just demonstrate the game. Hope everyone enjoyed their night tonight. despite the fact that some of you have had a power outage. I've had fun. And uh, as a reminder, next week we're going to be doing Tumba 2. Which uh, is going to be an experience. Let's go right here, actually. Four. Three, two, one, zero. So yeah, a bunch of these coin dudes spawn in. And you have to kill all of them in order to leave the stage. It looks like I'm actually going to manage that, and if you can do that... Oh no! That was the last one! Aww. Well... If you can manage it and survive, that's a lot of points, because like you saw, killing one of them was 8,000 points. Killing another one in the same blast was another 10,000, and it doesn't, the bonus doesn't go any higher than 10,000, so it'd just be 10,000 for every subsequent one in the same blast. Anyway, that's Bomberman. There's a couple of power ups that we haven't seen. We'd have to, to get in far enough to actually uh, see them. But I think I'm good to call it right there. Uh, let us. There we go. And shut down. So thank you all for hanging out. Uh, thank you to Roddy Rocket One Zero, uh, O'Neill Link Plus, Grim, J Pop, Jewel, and Tyrion for hanging out in chat. Good group today. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. 
0.5.0 is on the horizon. There's a couple of new games that are coming out that I would like to uh, give a try if uh, it does come out, but it's probably not going to be out for a little while, so not going to worry too much about that. And that takes us round week round wheel to our next long run stream next uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, where we are starting on Tomba 2 The Evil Swine Return. And after Tomba 2 is done, we're gonna have the Archimagalo, guys. It's gonna be quite the experience. 12 games. I gotta clear all of them in a multi world. It's gonna be cool. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. I'm cool here if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>